gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. His face that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, no, no. no. Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Huh? It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, no, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What is I Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, no, no. Because no, no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. I see of your boss, the more I like it. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, it'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation. Well, you don't see, Trevor! If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, he heads me, kills my family, and all in Canada, which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? The this is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. 
Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence them, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. No, 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 no! My teeth are perfect! Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That's too much! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What did you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Chumash. The ride on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Trevor getting along. Seems like a productive relationship. Oh, you screwed up my car! Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Ah, hey! The fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. How many volts do you think they got running through these things? Not the clips. Not the clips. Or you will kill me. Don't kill him. Did you, did you see his face when I did that? Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. Today, I got given up. The sick of That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. 
We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. I remember. Woo. Don't hold back now. I remember. Three. Knee shot. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Now, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. I will drown. I will. My mouth. I, I will drown. I got blood in my mouth! Oh! Ow! I was wrong! Say this! Oh, no! No, no! Oh, 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 he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. Rise and shine! I'm still here. <laughs> oh, God. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. You missed. He's on the move. We need to take him here. Hit him. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a uh, ball game to get uh, to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> Let's go. Come on. Wait a second, Mr.
Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Well, you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. Dude, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you! Jesus Christ, good grief! I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. No one drives me to the airport. <clears throat> Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Huh? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. to stick to math. Keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said.
train automobile. We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people. Here's Trevor. Gee, you're right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really.
You don't want to end up in the back of this. That was a 